Hey guys, so much welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana. I'm watching for those who are just joining. Thank you so much for coming back. So today we are going to do a very simple bridal hairstyle in an updo. And I started by washing my hair very, very um, clean and I'm drying it clean now. I do not have any moisturizer in my hair, just my hair cream, very, very little. But let's give this hair a commotion because it's growing so fast. Ah! anyway so i have a hair care routine with chibi products if you want to check it out please do because i cut my hair in may and it is flourishing okay okay now what i'm doing here is that i'm going to start um applying some heat to my hair i promise that my hair is on low heat i apply the heat protectant olive oil heat protectant i don't know where that um clip is gone to because i really recorded it i don't know i can't find the clip it's a heat protectant olive oil so that's where the, the smoke is coming from i am not <laughs> my hair is not a sacrifice like i'm not on a burning sacrifice right now okay my head is not on a burning sacrifice okay so i'm just using the hot comb to straighten my hair just so that i can have a sleek ponytail this time around this is my first time applying heat after trimming my hair since may and i'm just doing it in smaller sections and really good doing about one or i'm um, doing about two or three passes so that i get the most part of my hair and the heat temperature is on the lowest okay it's on the lowest heat temperature so yeah i did it for all my hair and guys i was saying here that i really want this gel to work so bad because my first attempt it didn't work for me as i really wanted but i don't want to rule it out completely so i'm gonna top it up with got to be glue gel after i um i think i applied the gel okay so when i was styling this style i had a very um a style in my mind that i really want to, wanted to do so i started by parting the front part to do some skirmishes at the front you know so yeah you're gonna see how it all ends up like in the course of the video so you do stay tuned okay so when i was done i started applying the um gel like in smaller sections because it was an updo i started right from the center of my hair and when i applied the gel then i use my comb to comb through and then i follow it up with a hairbrush so basically that's how the application is going to be um sectioning the hair into smaller sections and then using my big comb to comb through first i apply the gel and then i use the brush to go over until i am done so that's what i'm going to do for my entire hair so do stay tuned and keep watching Over here, I'm just going to use the got to be glue gel to top it up so that it really, really becomes firm. Because, like, the last time I did, it was really, really firm. It saved the day. So, yeah, why not use it this time around? So, yeah, that's what I did. And I'm going to repeat the same thing all over. Yeah. <laughs> And then once I slicked my hair, I scuffed my hair to lay it down and then I used my hair bonnet and <laughs> my dryer bonnet and then my ear muffs and I fixed it onto my hair dryer. This dryer bonnet is so good but then it does take time. It takes time guys, like it takes a lot of time for the hair to completely dry. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to get a traditional hair dryer or something like the one that stands, uh -huh, the one that you can sit under. 
I think I'm going to get that because this one really, really takes a lot of time. And so I did my makeup and my hair was hairing actually. I loved how it laid my hair very, very well. It was as hard as a rock. Okay. <laughs> it was very hard. My hair was very, very hard. I loved how it, has, it had laid my hair, but it took a lot of time. And that's what I don't like. It really took a lot of time anyway so because my ponytail was very very small i decided to get a lawyer and i used this extension to crochet a little bit of pair pieces into my hair so that i am able to achieve a little ponytail with the help of this extension so that's what i'm doing right there just crocheting and this is what we are given now and i'm just twisting it roughly and wrapping it around the small ponytail that i have on my head and this is what we have so at the when when i progressed i was like okay i'm not going to do anything at the front because my my hair texture wasn't matching the extension i wanted to do at the front okay so yeah so that's why i'm slicking it back because it wasn't going to do okay so yeah that's what we are doing yeah thank you very much for your attention <laughs> so i slicked it back with that jaslyn gel this time i didn't use the the that that um gel the water-based gel that i used because it was going to take time and i wasn't ready for that okay so to do the abdo i'm going to use this darling african key this natural twist i'm going to use it the bundles are like they have packed the bundles in such a way that they have like two sets of bundles in each pack and i'm attaching each bundle on one side and then i'm attaching each the other bundle on the other side so these two sets of bundles are in one pack uh -huh. so in all i'm using just one pack of the extension or the natural twist to do the abdo and i'm using rubber band to really secure it around the ponytail that i had made and this is what we have can you guys tell this is actually a pass for another hairstyle I'm, i think i'm going to do another hairstyle similar to what we have right here but that is not the focus of today okay so i took one strand of the natural twist and then wrapped it loosely very very loosely around the base of the ponytail that i had done very very loosely okay so i used bobby pin to secure at my back make sure that the bobby pin is not directly touching your scalp i always say this that when you're attaching bobby pins to your hair make sure that it is not touching your scalp otherwise you're going to put a little tension on your scalp and you're not gonna like it okay like your hair and your scalp is not gonna like it okay so when i was done i started fetching small pieces of extensions or divided into smaller sections and then i started twisting them loosely and when you twist them loosely like it automatically calls itself up like it rolls itself up okay so you don't have to do any hard work um the rolls the twisting can be very very tight here i'm just making them very very loosely the tighter you make the twists the smaller the rollings are going to be and the bigger you make the twist or the loosely you make the twists the bigger the abdo is going to be so you can tell that i'm twisting it very very loosely and that is why it is rolling up in bigger um rows uh -huh, if i if i should put it that's why it is rolling up in bigger rows so if you want the rows to be very very small or if you want a smaller abdo make sure that you are tightening it much you are um, you are twisting it much tighter than i am doing okay so with my hand gesture and how you are seeing it you can clearly tell that i am not tightening the twist okay so it all depends on the style you are looking for if you are going in for a smaller abdo tighten the twist so that it will come out smaller and then when i was done i attached this bridal hair pins inside i think i used about five or four of them okay we have a three now and then number four at the back so basically um yeah number five <laughs> so i use five um bite out pens so basically this is all that is we have today i love i love how it turned out let me know what you think but as for the gel i don't think i'm going to use it because it takes a lot of time i mean yeah so yeah do check out my other hair tutorials guys i love you for sticking with me today thank you so much for coming to join me give me a thumbs up and i'm going to see you in my next video do have a wonderful blessed day bye